David Viscott, and welcome. This is the program where you tune in and find yourself being talked about. Sometimes you find the issue that's th been bothering you all week, sometimes all life, being talked about right in front of you, and it strikes you. And that's what it's about, to have you understand a little more clearly that your problem is not one that you have alone, that you're not alone in the world, and that, you know, things can work out. And I hope that you see other people solving and addressing problems gives you the courage to take a look at your own life a little more and, well, maybe take a risk to make things better. Dottie, I see you've returned. Yes. So it couldn't have been that horrible last week. Well, I wasn't sure that I was going to like it, but actually I, I really liked it, and I felt even more involved in the show than I did w when I was just the producer in the back. Well, they should know that for, for a year and a half, after a show that I'm always calling you and saying, how was it? On Monday, you're calling me up and saying, was I okay? Exactly. Now, uh, one thing that we didn't talk about last week, when it was our first week back, was that we had so much mail while we were on hiatus from people, and a lot of the reactions were people felt really abandoned, and it seemed like it was the kind of reaction that a person would have in therapy if their therapist went on vacation. Do you think that it's like that for people who watch well, all the time? Don't use the word therapist. I think it's more the kind of reaction you have when someone you count on for some support. Um, when I talk to people about how they see what we do here, they get the feeling that this is a voice of sanity. It's a moment where someone's going to hear the truth. And when a week that you're going through is, feels crazy or you're overworked and, and things don't seem to make much sense or the kids are are uh, eating the wallpaper and the, no matter what you tell them they're, they're not they're not getting any better just seeing that it's possible to work through a problem can be something that holds you together and um, uh, believing believing that someone can be helped is often the only help you need to believe that you can work it out we got probably about 25 letters this week from people saying how happy they were that you're back. So well, I think that is really great. I should send myself a letter because I'm happy I'm back too. Yeah, Ooh. it's great. 